now it's rebooting and uh, afterwards we'll see what happens if it grow, uh, logs directly into an administrator account or if we need to create the user accounts um, we need. If I need to create user accounts I will skip that part too and, um, and then see you as soon as uh, I'm on my Windows XP desktop. Ah, here, it, I think it's setting up user accounts. It said here screen settings. Uh, you just press OK and OK. It has now changed the resolution from I think uh, 800 times 600 to 1024 times 768. I don't actually know. I can tell you as soon as I'm on, on the desktop. But then, um, yes. Now we see what happens if we are going directly to desktop or if we're going into uh, user setup. Uh, if you're the type that uh, wants to see uh, if your virtual system is actually working here under the settings tab, you can just press this little arrow and you can see here the inputs and if the hard drive is working and sound and etc. I actually don't need that because I have this iStat menus uh, up here that tells me if my system is actually working. And now we're into Windows XP configuration. It will uh, ask you uh, some questions about registering Windows XP and creating a user account and if you want to have updates and so on. Um, I will see you right after this part, so um, I'll be back in two seconds. Well, now I have set up Windows XP and uh, we're entering the desktop and here we have the uh, Windows XP uh, desktop sound or boot sound or whatever you want to call it. And here we have the Windows XP desktop. Uh, let's see what resolution we're actually running. Uh, settings, we're running on 800 times 600 pixels. That means the resolution on boot was uh, 640 times 480 pixels. Uh, your computer might be at risk. Okay, just close that and we want, don't want to be introduced to Windows XP. So, now it tells us Parallels Tools are not installed. So that's the first thing we want to do, install Parallels Tools. Go up to the Virtual Machine menu, and here we have a lot of options. Uh, press Install Parallels Tools, and click Continue. It will tell you how that it's going to unmount your disk running right now. We press Install, and uh, it's now opening the installation program for Parallels Tools, and installing. I think we need to reboot it after this, and um, as soon as it's rebooted, um, we are ready to go, and um, we can just use Windows XP. So I'm going to quit this. Your computer might be at risk again. And um, <coughs> something that's very important uh, is that you um, might have to. Uh, install uh, antivirus software for Windows uh, XP, but I will come back to that. Uh, I don't actually, actually don't know if we are running coherence mode uh, just after um, this installation and the system has rebooted. Uh, so that is going to be interesting to see if we are running coherence mode right after, or if we are going to open Parallels in uh, some other way to get it working. Okay, installation is succeeded. Reboot. Windows is shutting down. And it's rebooting. <coughs> so after this, uh, we should actually be able to um, use coherence mode on Windows XP. And we have here again. Voila. 
this is the whole contents of my Mac desktop. And here we have coherence mode enabled. Here, Windows applications folder will be added to the dock. This measure will be closed in three seconds, yes. And here we have it, Windows XP applications. And right click on this icon to open the Windows start menu and uh, coherence mode, yes. And the folder, here we have this Windows XP screen resolution thing. And um, yes, yes, Windows should automatically change this and your computer might be at a risk. We don't want to see that and get introduced to Windows XP we're with you. And here we have Windows uh, start menu, devices, Windows start menu right here. So we can see classical Windows XP start menu. Parallels, shared applications, here are all my Mac applications and uh, whatever apps are on my Windows XP system. Yes, and close the start menu again. And this um, box can just be closed. Now we are in coherence mode. Let's see what we can do with Windows XP. Windows XP applications we have here. Uh, let, why don't you try and open Internet Explorer? And have here Internet Explorer icon. And Windows uh, XP here. Make this big and uh, choose our settings. Save it and go to our starting page. And um, this is actually how coherence mode in, in uh, Parallels Desktop working. You're running your Windows applications side by side with your Mac applications. And uh, we need to install Flash Player and whatsoever. Now we can install applications just like uh, FL Studio and um, whatever you want to have on your Windows system. So um, the next tutorial will be about uh, how to um, install FL Studio in this new coherence mode setting. So um, I hopefully will see you uh, for the next tutorial. Um, thanks for watching and. Um, um, see you next time.